friend of the channel Hypnotic. Also a bane in the existence of Wokies from Kotaku. More particularly, Alyssa Mercante. Who who does she not hate? If you have any kind of criticism about her, she automatically blocks you, hates you, and just targets you for her nonsense. Well, he has his Saturday evening show where he has a panel of people every week on his channel. I was on it actually last weekend, had a great blast. If you guys aren't subscribed to Hypnotic, if you like the type of content I make, you guys will definitely enjoy his channel. He's well on the way to 100K subscribers. He's already hit over 53K, but that's besides the point. Tonight's show, he had his panel, as usual, and Alyssa Mercante decided to step out of lurker mode, like his tweet says. You can see he wrote, Alyssa Mercante left lurker mode tonight on Saturday Night Hypnosis. She always watches, which this has been proven in the past. She's made passive-aggressive tweets about panels of people that just talk about her and blah, blah, blah. Woe is me. I'm a victim. My pussy hurts. He says that she came into his chat and tried to brag about how she raised $20,000 for trans people in her stream, most of which came from industry insiders who felt they had to donate. This was their response. So here's the clip of this. So she did do a charity, which I guess good on her, right? I don't know what kind of flex it was that she raised $20,000 for a trans charity when you can actually raise money for, you know, world hunger or battered women or, or you know, an educational system instead of something that is literally a mental health disorder, right? But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'm sure I just triggered a whole bunch of Wokies like that. <laughs> Good. Anyways, let's watch this clip right here. So, yeah, and, and, you know, typically people that do charity don't brag about it, don't try to use it, don't try to be spiteful about it. If she really cared about her cause, she would have went and made an ass out of herself. So you can see at the bottom, she put a little comment that says, I just raised over 20K for Trans Lifeline. Let me know if you guys want me to raise money for soap for you. So calling them dirty, uh, non-showering, you know, the, the vitriol and venom that they usually spew. So let's watch the clip. So we have Hypnotic, we got Words of Paradise, we have Ryan, we have Smash JT, we have Atreus, we have a few other people that I'm not familiar with their name at this moment, but Atreus is fucking hilarious, and he actually tries to say, hey, come on, we'll give you five minutes of uninterrupted time. So he had the balls to ask her to come squabble, like he says, and of course she doesn't. She comes in and says this thing, so let's watch. Digital no, you Ryan, can't be. Ryan, 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 shut up. Like, we would have her in the fucking chat, and you start going off about some Wait fucking retarded that nobody wants to hear. That's not Alyssa, right. Alyssa, is that Alyssa, really you're already, Please tell me it is. Oh, Alyssa, hey, you're I, already I, here. Is, you're, is it really right? Alyssa? Is it really her? Please tell me yeah. it's true. It's, it, I, 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 and it's been confirmed this was really Alyssa Mercante, by the way. So keep in mind, she spent like a whole day raising money for trans rights, and she goes and makes an ass out of herself on some other, you know, person's stream that criticizes her. So proof that we all live rent-free in her head. I would bet any... Why would you get up here and start bragging about the twenty k you you raised for? I, I, mean, I like, don't I don't think it's her, bro. Oh, it might be her. Oh, oh, it's it's her. her. It's it's her. Come on up here and say that. <laughs> we'll kick, we'll kick Ryan. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, we'll let's you, it ain't my show, but if it was me, I would give you five minutes of uninterruptible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? I would I would, I would bring her on. Yeah, hundred percent. I would give you Dang. five minutes of uninterrupted. I'm going to say everything I want to say about you guys, and then yeah, we'll she go definitely wouldn't answer that. So you're, you're I, here, I, you might as well just do it. And, mm -hmm. and here's the, for the record, and I'm going to let anybody else take the floor after this. For the record, I didn't have a problem with you, nigga, until you blocked me. For <laughs> yeah, I mean, the usual ends up blocking people. Matter of fact, I think she blocked everybody on this panel on her Twitch channel while she was streaming today. I know for a fact she blocked uh, Words of Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> never interacted with her and, and that's the thing though you know raising money for a charity good on paper but she was doing it to be spiteful if you saw all of her like tweets about it she was like oh let's make right-wing grifters mad let's upset somebody that's a uh you know an anti-woke person just vitriol 
And then I went and checked her actual like Twitch stream. She was twerking <laughs> to to Megan the Stallion on there. You know, I twerk too, but it's just it was so unsexy from her. I'm I'm a fat, chubby, forty year old white guy, and me twerking in my undies was so much more attractive. It's like she didn't even know how to twerk for somebody who claims they're a sex worker. She was the least bit of sexy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is just proof. You know, she says that we're unhinged, that we're obsessed. Sorry, toots. You're the one coming to the streams after raising 20K to, I guess, flex or whatever. And, uh, you know, of course, she's getting flamed in the comments. I asked, confirm. If so, yikes on her part. Laugh out loud, rent free. Hypnox had confirmed. You can see uh, Sam Lake donated to that. I wonder how much. Hypnox is probably a majority of that 20K. He met up with her and easily fucked her. No doubt about that. Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, you can see people just saying blocked. She's playing hard to get with you again. Tebow says the irony of the disgusting woman thinking that anyone else looks like they need a bar of soap. She'll eat it all. I knew she loved you. Yikes, that isn't the W she thinks it is, and it also proves everyone has been right about her lurking, lurking and coping, which is right. And then look at here, we got a trans person saying, I'm trans, she can keep her filthy money, she does more damage than good with such an appalling personality. And that's the thing, she's so insufferable and miserable of a human being, she literally causes all of this on her. All the criticism and backlash that she gets, she causes it, she does it to herself. You know, little things like that. She wants us to stop talking about her, but then she shows up on Hypnotic Live and makes an ass out of herself. She wants us to stop talking about her, but she DMs Vera Dark to su that she suggests she talks. She stops talking about her, as I can't even can't even speak because just the logic between the the ears of Alyssa Mercante and her brain doesn't exist. You know, <laughs> it's funny. She's in love with you. The bigot army rules, bitches. She's really aiming for the most unhinged game journal award. Jesus fucking Christ. So Liz is basically Kevils now. <laughs> that was epic watching it live. Live hit pieces coming. You know, she's uh, she's definitely attention starved. And I know some people like this guy right here. You guys are the only ones still talking about her and giving her the attention she so desperately clings to. If you just wrote her off, she'd be like Frosk at this point. She knows that. So, of course, she shows up in chat. She's usually need to keep her name in front of your audience. And Hypnotics is my guy. I haven't done a video on Mercante in weeks. And before that, more weeks. Laugh out loud. What the fuck? And same with me. I just did my first video on her in a while. Just yesterday. When uh, quartering absolutely destroyed her on Twitter and made her look like a fucking fool. <laughs> you know, that, it's so weird. It's like she goes into these phases like where she's like, I have to go do something stupid. I have to go up there. And to be honest, she only reacted to the quartering so she could advertise her charity. That's all it really was. Everything that she was doing this week, trying to instigate and prod at people, was so she could advertise her charity. And on, on top of that, she did this on her small Twitch channel. She gained lots and lots of followers on it. She got lots and lots of watch time. A 15-hour stream, lots of watch time, lots of lots of followers. She didn't do that for charity. If she did, she would have made a Twitch channel just for that charity, for that charity stream. No, she did it on her own Twitch channel so she could become a Twitch partner. But we're the grifters, right? All of us right-wingers making content about her and bitching about woke we're the grifters. No, she 110% did it on her own Twitch channel so she can get partnership. I'm calling it right now. She, yeah, sure, she raised 20K charity, but she got the watch time and the followers needed to become a partner, or at the very least an affiliate. So watch. That's exactly what was behind it. Don't let her fool you into thinking that she's some virtue signal in person. She's all fake. All of them. All these Kotaku, Kotaku people are absolutely fake. They're bigger grifters than anything they can accuse any of us of. And, uh, yeah, coming onto a live stream to flex that you made 20K, which probably was donated mostly by industry-led people because this more than your stuff was slow. People felt compelled. Uh, and, again, for something that, you know, on paper seems good, but there's better things that you could have did for charity. Like like coming and bragging about donating for something like Trans Life, in my opinion, on a stream that has nothing to do with you. 
It's a little bit of tension starved. So, anyways, <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you on the next one.